In this video, we will take a look at how to use the OmniSharp plugin with the Brackets Editor. If you want a more detailed intro to OmniSharp itself, please check out my video on using OmniSharp with the Atom Editor, and then come back and watch this video. Brackets is a free and open source programmers editor by Adobe, the people who make Photoshop. What is interesting about Brackets is that, like Atom, it is written mostly in JavaScript. To be fair, Atom is written using CoffeeScript, but it transpiles to JavaScript. Also, Brackets is very extensible, and the OmniShark folks wrote a version for Brackets. You can download Brackets from the web at Brackets.io. There is an installer for Windows and a DMG file for the Mac. As far as the installation is concerned, it should be self-explanatory, so I'll skip it. Installing OmniSharp could not be easier. Here I've got Brackets open, and I'm going to go to File Extension Manager. I'll click on the Available tab, and then I'll type OmniSharp in the search box. As you can see, I only need to get as far as Omni, and it finds what I want. Then I just click the Install button, and that's it. Brackets will download and install the plugin. With the plugin installed, I'm going to create a new file, and I'm going to save it to my desktop as demo.cs. And notice several changes in the editor. First, there's an OmniSharp menu. Here you can start or stop OmniSharp, and there are a couple of refactoring commands as well. You can tell OmniSharp is started if this flame icon on the right is green. So currently, it's running, and if I go into the menu and stop OmniSharp, the flame will turn gray. So I'll start it up again, and we'll see OmniSharp in action. I'm going to create the world's simplest and most useless calculator, but it'll show off the features. I'll start with a using statement. OmniSharp IntelliSense knows that the valid choice here is a namespace, and the only one available with SYS is System. So I'll hit Return to accept that suggestion. I'll add a namespace, and I'll call it Demo App. Now this is something interesting. OmniSharp for brackets seems to have a formatting preference. If you put the opening curly brace at the end of the line with namespace declaration, it will pop up the IntelliSense again. However, if you put the brace on the next line, it doesn't. And this isn't a big deal, just hit escape and the IntelliSense window goes away. But fortunately, I prefer my braces on their own line. However, it's something to be aware of. Now I'll create a new class called Mathy, and OmniSharp will suggest keywords as I type. And at this point, I'm just going to paste the rest of the class definition in. I'll create a class for the main program. And I'll create the main method. In the main method, I'll create a new mathy object. OmniSharp has detected the mathy class in the code that I already wrote. I'm going to call a method on m. OmniSharp knows that it is of type mathy and only offers members for that class. Next, I'm going to display the result. I'll type the first few letters of console and press control space to get IntelliSense suggestions and then choose console. Then the dot, and I want right line, but similar to Visual Studio, OmniSharp lets you type only the first letter of each word, WL in this case, and it will filter the suggestions. So I'll select right line and display the sum. Now, notice the check mark in the status bar. This is OmniSharp's way of telling us that it sees no errors in the source code. So let's verify this by saving the file and then 
opening up a command line with the C-sharp compiler on the path and compiling the application. There are no surprises here. Good work, OmniSharp. Now, let's say that there was an error. So I'm going to try to call a method right line misspelled on console instead. When I save the file, the check mark changes to a warning icon and this error window opens. Obviously, even though it sounds the same, right line is not a method on console. So I'll delete the offensive code and save the file again. And the check mark comes back. So there are a few other things that OmniSharp can do. First, I'll add a using statement at the top that we will not use in the code. When I save the file, we get the error again that says that it tells us that the using directive is not being used and can be removed safely. To fix this, I can right click on the using directive and click fix code issue and it will go away. Another way that I could have done this would be to go to the OmniSharp menu and click on fix usings. So I'll save the file and the check mark comes back. Also I can find the definition for a member by right clicking on it and choosing go to definition. I'll do that with the add method on line 32. Again, the Brackets Editor and the OmniSharp plugin are open source, free, and cross-platform, so what you just saw works on the Mac as well. If you'd like to check out the project, it's on GitHub. I'll post links to everything in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I appreciate any feedback.